It had been quiet in the Deshaun Watson litigation for nearly three weeks. I firmly believed it was quiet because the lawyers were talking about a potential settlement. And it's come to light in the past couple of days that that's exactly what's gone on. Tony Busby took the initiative. He's the person who represents the 22 women who are suing Deshaun Watson. Busby said the other night to Mark Berman of Fox 26 in Houston, a settlement is not happening. And he had more things to say, including that his clients believe that the NFL's investigative process is not showing them due respect. The NFL responded to that in a statement yesterday. You can find that at PFT. Obviously, the NFL believes it's handling everything properly as it tries to investigate these claims. But I think the most significant development, Miles, came yesterday when Rusty Harden, who represents Deshaun Watson, had this to say. In a recent interview, Mr. Busby stated that a settlement is not happening. We certainly agree that there are currently no settlement negotiations being conducted. While we have never approached Mr. Busby about a settlement, he has approached us on numerous occasions in the past about the possibility of a settlement. We have made clear all along that there would be no settlement unless the terms are made public and all participants are allowed to speak in their own defense at all times. We want none of the participants, the plaintiffs or Mr. Watson, muzzled by a settlement agreement. Mr. Busby does not feel the same. Here's what this means. This means that if this is accurate, and I've yet to see Tony Busby's possibly inevitable response, but if this is accurate, this turns the typical practice on its head. Usually when you're the one who's writing the check, Part of what you're paying for is the confidentiality because you don't want people running around saying this guy's giving out free money. This company's giving out free money. All you got to do is file a lawsuit and you're getting yourself a lottery ticket. You want it secret. You want it quiet. You want it confidential. In this case, based on Harden's statement, Harden and Watson want to be able to say, look at how little we paid. That tells you these claims had no merit. Busby wants it to be quiet because what happens is if it's quiet, people are going to assume big checks being written by Deshaun Watson. So, again, Busby may dispute everything Harden said, Miles, but this is so dramatically different than the normal case. And, hey, kudos to Harden for putting it all out there. I mean, that's an aggressive move, and he's been very aggressive in his defense of Deshaun Watson. That's very aggressive to put that out there, and and it speaks to a level of confidence they have in their case if it's true that the amounts that have been discussed are so small they'd have no problem letting the world know what they are. Right. That's that's the interesting thing to me. It's It's kind of like this is the first step in sort of turning the public perception um, – in, I don't want to necessarily say in favor, but it's kind of what it is in favor of Deshaun Watson, you know, it, it because to this point, it's basically been look, look at all these cases. You can't ignore the fact that there are 22 cases against Deshaun Watson. You can't necessarily ignore the fact that there are upwards of 40 massage therapists that he's used in the past couple of years based on the 18 that came out um, with statements in favor of Deshaun Watson as well. So now, I feel like when you hear something like, look, we want all of this to be public, which is honestly, I mean, it's not something that I feel like I've ever heard of before in, in, in something like this, where, uh, the per- the, where the defendant would want that all of this stuff out in the open and to be able to talk about it publicly and for the plaintiffs to still be able to talk about it publicly and for the settlement and the amount of money to be also public. That's very interesting to me. And I think you're right. It must speak to some level of confidence that they have, that Rusty Harden has in Deshaun Watson, that this is going to work out well for them. Now, it's entirely possible that Rusty Harden would still seek a commitment from the 22 plaintiffs that they not speak to the NFL. But if they can speak publicly, who cares? See, so this is just kind of, to me, a tactical shrug by Rusty Harden at the entire case. Like, we're not worried about it. We're not worried about it. We, We know what Tony Busby is willing to take to resolve these cases. And we know he's not willing to let that all be public. And, and if I was Busby, and look, he, he's kind of in checkmate here. 
from a PR standpoint. I would be upset because th- there there is an etiquette involved where these discussions are supposed to be confidential so people can speak freely. You 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 undermine the ability of people to speak freely in negotiations if everything you say during the negotiation can and will be held against you in a court of public opinion. So it could keep these cases from settling. But if they're talking about right now a range of payments that would prompt Rusty Harden to say, yeah, we're fine with this coming out, it tells me that Tony Busby possibly is ready to move on. It's possibly he's vetted his clients a little more carefully. It was an avalanche of signing people up. And I think once you start asking tough questions, which may be why some of these individuals were uncomfortable when they were asked just, you know, reasonable questions that they regarded as tough questions, there's a lot of tough questions you're going to be asked. And you're going to get to the bottom of a lot of things. And the folks involved are going to realize this is a stressful, trying, demanding process. And there's going to be a lot of people who are who are asking us questions in a way that make us think that they think we're not telling the truth. So it could be that Tony Busby is just ready to move on. And you know what the genius of this could be, Miles? It could be that Harden now agrees to confidentiality now that he's gotten his message out, that it's mm-hmm. not your usual case where confidentiality means Deshaun Watson has written six-figure checks to everyone involved. So do you think that this is now going to get loud again? I mean, that we're going to get these public statements between Busby and Harden like, every day, every couple of days, like it was sort of in mid to late April, you know, before the draft. And it seemed like every single day there was something new. Do you think that's where we're headed? Well, it's either going to get very loud because it means litigation is going forward or it's going to get quiet again because it just dawned on me that – that, that Harden's statement, beyond the fact that it sends a message that is very significant to anyone who's paying attention, and he does it in a subtle way, so it's not obvious. He doesn't come out and say, hey, Tony Busby only wants 10000 each for these folks. That's nothing. That shows it's just a nuisance. That's nothing. That's a, that's a frivolous lawsuit that he's trying to get resolved. They haven't said that. But, but it could be that this is Harden's way of getting that out there for the benefit of folks like us who will then explain what it means. And now they settle the cases with the confidentiality provision because I, I kind of knew about this a little bit and that may have been the only impediment. And if that's the only impediment and Harden is now comfortable going to Deshaun saying we can give them confidentiality because I've kind of made my point, then then maybe that's the path to getting a resolution. So I, I I still will not be surprised if it resolves. And I think that the competing comments this week were just that that one last kick, that one last effort to start the motorcycle. You know, I, I'm not a motorcycle guy, never have been, but I know you got you got there's something you got to kick, and sometimes it takes a few kicks to get the engine going. Is it a kick starter? Is that what it's called? And and this may be the last kick start to get the engine going so they can settle the case. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a motorcycle guy either. I just prefer my cars with three pedals. So that's basically all I know about that. But I, I do think that, look, if that's the case, then if these things get settled, if these cases get settled, um, if they get resolved, then it also is going to start meaning that, you know, Deshaun Watson as a football player is going to start becoming a part of trade talks again, is it not? You yes. know, because it, that, like, that's that's the next logical step because it seems like Houston has set up something so that uh, they don't need Deshaun Watson anymore, so that they can be prepared to trade him whenever these cases are resolved. So if that's the case, then it we're going to start probably ramping up the trade talks about Deshaun Watson again probably soon. Dolphins, Eagles are the two teams I would watch. And if the cases are settled, even though Watson will likely be suspended by the league, you can't have these 22 claims with these tawdry facts out there and have no consequence given what they did to Ben Roethlisberger 11 years ago. Or or they can. They can do whatever they want. But uh, once the cases are settled, I think that's when he's in play to be traded. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.